President Biden's time in the White House has been full of ambitious policies, victories, and some setbacks. He succeeded in achieving a rapid economic rebound from the COVID-19 pandemic and will be leaving office with, with one of the strongest records on climate change for any American president in U.S. history. President Biden was also widely praised for standing by Ukraine after Putin invaded the country. But his support for Israel's destructive war on Gaza and chaotic withdrawal from American, of American troops from Afghanistan underscored a few dark moments for an otherwise monumental administration. Our next report takes you inside Joe Biden's presidential legacy. Amid growing concerns over his age and fitness for office and pressure building up within his own Democratic Party, U.S. President Joe Biden has finally backed down from his re-election bid, just less than four months before the presidential polls. The 81-year-old who first ran for the White House in 1988 fulfilled his lifelong aspiration as the 46th President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute. The office of President of the United States. The office of President of the United States. However, his reluctant announcement on Sunday signals the end of one of the longest political careers in American history. A 50-year career that was laced with historic achievements and dramatic failures. I am ready to go win again. Today, let's take a look at what challenges President Biden conquered and how many of them made his life difficult during his first and last term in office. Immigration was and still is the hottest electoral issue for Americans. During the first three years of Biden's presidency, unauthorized crossings at the southern U.S. border soared higher and higher. Just last December, arrests for illegal border crossing from Mexico reached an all-time high, with the Border Patrol making close to 250,000 arrests in a month. To counter this border chaos with no immigration bill in hand, the Biden administration acted on its own. The president restricted asylum claims and asked the Mexican government to stop migrants from getting to the U.S. border. These measures helped reduce the number of illegal arrivals during the first half of 2024. Biden also announced citizenship for undocumented spouses of American citizens, a move that would impact over half a million immigrants. COVID-19 cases and deaths were hitting record high when Biden assumed office. Just two months into the presidency, Biden launched pandemic aid worth $1.9 trillion in March 2021 that extended unemployment benefits, childcare services, food aid and vaccine distribution. The relief bill also temporarily halved child poverty and contributed to additional 15.7 million jobs. The massive public expenditures also contributed to inflation that peaked at 9.1% in 2022. It was pretty evident when people bought food, clothing, fuel or tried to buy a house. However, inflation has come back down since, with salaries increasing, cost of living going down and unemployment hovering near 50-year lows. The Biden administration also enacted two other major laws, the $850 billion bipartisan infrastructure law and the $300 billion Chips and Science Act to build an economy that can thrive in the future. Can't ignore Biden will also leave office with the strongest record on climate change as he brought the 2022 Inflation Reduction Act to provide grants for low-carbon energy projects, supply chains, electric car purchases and more. He also re-entered the Paris Climate Agreement which was abandoned by his predecessor Donald Trump and issued major emissions-cutting regulations. The two weeks of chaos in Afghanistan has left a scar on Biden's presidency. 
He pulled American troops out of Afghanistan, a goal that his predecessors and the public supported. However, 13 U.S. service members and dozens of civilians died in a suicide bombing during the withdrawal. Chaos also saw the Taliban once again taking charge of Kabul. The U.S. has been the biggest ally of Ukraine since Russia invaded the country in 2022. Since then, Biden has organized international support for Ukraine to provide diplomatic, financial and military support that is propping up Kiev to date. In April, the U.S. approved $61 billion in aid for Ukraine. And in June, the two nations signed a 10-year defense pact on the sidelines of the G7 summit in Italy. Since Hamas attacked Israel in October last year, Biden strongly backed the Israeli government and its war in Gaza. However, he began pushing back rather ineffectively against Israel's controversial response that has killed tens of thousands of civilians, leaving the region in a threatening humanitarian condition. Biden has now proposed a ceasefire deal, which both parties are yet to accept officially. President Biden led efforts to expand the NATO alliance, which saw the addition of Finland and Sweden. He also sought to compete more aggressively with China and united much of the world against Russian expansionism. Biden has repeatedly stood up to Russian President Vladimir Putin and has even called Putin a quote-unquote crazy sob. Now the policies that Biden has implemented in less than four years might be seen as America's greatest achievement of failure, depending on his successor. But the best thing Biden may have done is deciding that it was time for him to give another, more capable Democrat a fighting chance to protect his legacy. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative. Hello and welcome to First Post America. I'm Eric Hamm, coming to you live from the nation's capital. 